Hello, I'm Paul Singel, Managing Director and Senior Portfolio Manager at City National Rockdale, and this is Economic Perspectives. Well, we find ourselves at a very exciting time for the U.S. economy. The Fed is quite pleased with how well the economy is doing. Both inflation and the unemployment rate are at low levels, and they look like they're going to be quite stable. But the question, of course, is what's the future going to be like? And here we're starting to see some changes going on in the economy. Is it because of the higher interest rates that have been happening over the last few years with the Federal Reserve Bank raising interest rates? We're really not sure right now, but we are starting to see some slowdown in the sectors of the economy where interest rates matter, mainly those that require money to be borrowed to make a purchase. Here in this chart, you can see auto sales. The columns represent the monthly change in auto sales, and the line shows the three-month moving average. This way, it makes it a lot easier to detect trends that we're seeing. Here, the trend has been on downward move for about a year now with auto sales. The question is, is it because interest rates are higher and the cost of financing a car is more? Or is it because, well, we're pretty late in this expansion. Are people just sort of tired of buying new cars? The other area that we're starting to see some plateauing of growth is with new home sales. In this chart here, it's a long-term chart, but you can see over on the far right side that sales have pretty much stagnated over the last several months. But what's interesting about this chart, you can see that sales throughout this decade have been much lower than what we've seen in past decades. So it might not be just the fact that interest rates are higher. It could very well be that there's just not the interest in buying homes like we've seen in past generations. Also, it's a lot more difficult to get a loan this time around than it has been in past decades. The third area that we're starting to see somewhat of some constriction is in the Financial Conditions Index. It measures such things as short-term rates, long-term rates, credit spreads, the stock market, and the value of the dollar. And since the springtime, these conditions have gotten a little bit tighter than what they had been in the past. In this case, it's clearly showing that the changes in interest rates are having some of an impact on the financial markets. But the more important issue is the overall economy. And here we continue to see robust strength. Growth in the second quarter was very, very good, led by strong consumption. That's expected to play out into the third quarter of this year and should make third quarter GDP quite strong. This is what the Fed's really paying attention to. But more importantly, what we're looking at as a leading indicator for this is the change in payroll. And for the last year or so, it's been on an upward trajectory. More and more people are being hired onto the payrolls than what we've seen in the past. And this should continue to keep economic growth relatively strong compared to what we've seen overall in this entire expansion. So our outlook continues to be the same. The economy is doing quite well. There are no immediate views of anything that could be recessionary in the next three, six, or even nine months. And that we expect the Fed to raise short-term rates and long-term rates will remain relatively stable. This is Paul Singel with City National Rockdale. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next month.